already finished uh, calving. So we start tail painting the cows uh, ready for mating. So we used to do this a month before mating uh, for us to determine the cows uh, cycling. So we do uh, tail painting uh, right after uh, calving and uh, the day before uh, mating itself. So uh, cows are cycling every uh, 21 days. That's their uh, normal uh, cycling pattern. So uh, that's the time when they become fertile and usually the normal behavior of a cow is uh, mounting on each other's back when they are in heat or they are cycling. And uh, when the cows are in heat, it will last for uh, 12 to 18 hours. So that's the window where it is the best time to uh, do the mating or the artificial insemination and then uh, we are doing uh, tail painting today right after uh, calving to determine which are the cows that are cycling and to identify also the non-cycling cows Because the best uh, time to uh, do the artificial insemination is uh, on the cow's second cycle. So when the cows uh, mount uh, on each other's back, they usually uh, scratch the paint or uh, make the paint uh, disappear and then uh, they create some bruises. So that's the sign that we are looking for, uh, for us to uh, determine uh, if a cow is uh, in heat. And then uh, they will do that uh, every 21 days until they get in calf or uh, until they get uh, pregnant. So if you miss the window, the 12 to 18 hours window, you will wait again uh, for another 21 days. And they will keep on cycling every 21 days until the rest of their lives, unless they get uh, pregnant or in calf. So that's it. Uh, I will discuss more about mating and uh, artificial insemination uh, in a month's time because uh, we usually start uh, mating uh, a month after calving so that's uh, November 1st so see you guys thanks for watching